Hey, this uh, video here is going to be about an add-in I've been working on for Fusion 360 that I'm calling Fusion Sheeter. And basically what this is is an application that allows you to connect a design in Fusion 360 to Google Sheets and drive the parameters and some automation of your Fusion 360 design directly from a Google Sheet. So let's take a look at how to use it. The first step is to go to this uh, my GitHub page here and download Fusion Sheeter. Um, there's some directions here you'll see on the page and the link is below in the comments and download it and install it. Once it's been installed correctly, you will see Fusion Sheeter as an option here in add-ins and go ahead and click run. And you will now see the Sheeter menu in the model environment. So the first thing that you will want to do in here is to link the design to a Google Sheet. So if you've never used it before, the first step is to link design to a Google Sheet. There is an option to link to an existing sheet. So if you've already, you know, you're making a new design, but you've already created one of these, you can always link it back to an existing sheet. But for this, we're going to say we want to create a new sheet. And we, do we want to use all parameters or user parameters? So if you look inside, if you look in modified, if you look at the change parameters, you'll see I built this model using user parameters. So I created parameters for width, height, the ply thickness, etc. And that's really how this whole model is driven. Uh, if you want, you could also include uh, basically all parameters is the every single dimension that's ever been used in the model. And again, like I said, in this case, I'm just really using these user defined parameters, but you could do this with all parameters. I personally think this whole experience is a lot better if you just use uh, user parameters to drive your model and then just sync those to the sheet. Otherwise, you'll end up with um, potentially like hundreds of columns, one for every single dimension. So say user parameters and we will create a sheet. The first time that you run this, you'll be prompted to sign in to your Google account and to authorize uh, the application. And you'll get a message that the authentication has completed. And then link a new Google Sheet will be created uh, with the name of your current model. So in this case, it's Bookshelf Simple. And you'll see three tabs, one for parameters, one for the bill of materials and one for features. Uh, if this was an assembly of components, you would see all of the name, description, numbers here in the bomb. And then feature allows you to uh, suppress and unsuppress uh, features in the model. I'm not really going to get into that in this demonstration, though. So basically what you have here now is a spreadsheet of all of those user defined parameters. And what you can do now is you can make new rows. So let's say that I've got, I'm going to call this one uh, some part number and we'll call this small. And then let's make another one that's called medium and another one that's called large. And what I'm going to do to just make this quick is I'll just take all the values. Uh, from the first one and paste them in. And then let's go ahead and make some changes. So in medium, let's maybe make this 40, give it a new height and a new depth. And we'll just leave everything else the same. Uh, maybe we'll make this one 48 and let's make this one really tall and with a depth of uh, 16 also, that sounds good. And then I can maybe, maybe I will just do a different shelf height. The nice thing about doing this in Google Sheets is really is, is that it's one thing to be able to type in these different numbers, but the real interesting thing is to be able to now fully take advantage of um, all of the power of uh, Google Sheets. For example, I could say in this, in the shelf height, I could say, hey, if I, I could do an if, so I could say if mm, the height is greater than 30. Let's make this 16. Otherwise, make it 12. And then, you know, just you build that kind of logic 
into your spreadsheet, you can create some pretty complicated and interesting things. You could use lookups, you could look use all kinds of things. Basically the entire power of the spreadsheet tool is now available to you here. And what the result of that is, is now I've got three sizes defined in this sheet. If I flip back over to here, you can see that I have the option to change size. So in my sheeter menu, now I can switch between small, medium, and it's going to take a second because it's going to rebuild and large. So it's pretty instantaneous. You know, it's uh, when you execute one of these commands, it's looking at the sheet and allowing you to choose the size that you want to associate with. Um, let's go ahead and go back to small. And let's look at some of the other features of this thing. So if I want to do a more uh, explicit sync, I can come in here and run the sync command. And what this will let me do is say, do you want to only, do I want to pull data from sheets into the design or do I want to push to sheets? The example here would be if you had maybe done quite a bit of work and you'd created some new parameters or something like that and you wanted to uh, push the design parameters uh, or you'd made changes, you want to push that back to sheets. You could either update the existing size or I could say that I want to um, create a new size and so I'll say I want to just go ahead and create a new size and you'll see back over in the sheet there's now a new row with whatever the values were there. So I hadn't changed anything so it's not really going to be that exciting but I could now maybe make a new size called extra large that's uh, you know just make it really really big and again just to see the effect of that um, go back here and now when I go to change size you'll see the new option it's XL small medium large so got that some of the other interesting things you can do here uh, this is just a button this will just quickly open the sheet for you uh, you're definitely gonna get overall it's kind of a pretty good experience if you're using uh, just uh, Chrome in a separate window um, but I did give the option to say that you can open the sheet in Fusion. So what it'll do is it'll actually open um, a palette down here below. And um, this kind of looks the best if you, you have to dismiss some error messages. Uh, it's, Google does, Sheets doesn't really like being loaded into this little tiny window like this. Um, so, but there's definitely the case where I've just wanted to be able to bid on a laptop or something and wanted to see this information right in front of me. You can just collapse this right here. It makes it look pretty nice. But again, so you now you've at least got it open here and you can uh, make some changes. For example, let's go ahead and uh, I'll decrease this width. There's also another button here. If you drag this up a little bit that I add down here called quick pull. If you just click this, it'll just whatever the current size you have loaded is, it'll just uh, pull the value. So you can just make some changes here. You know, if you wanted to make this 50 and then after you're, whenever you're done making changes, you just click this button and it'll update it. Um, but it won't change the sort of the row that it's currently associated with. So let's close that. And uh, now, so here's some other interesting things you can do. And I'm gonna actually do this in a different model. So I've got another model here um, that I've already set up with some uh, tool paths. So I've got some tool paths here defined on this model. And if I want to do is I can, uh, in this case, I've got um, a sheet already associated with this one. So I can open it up and I can see right now I've got two different sizes, uh, number of fins, number of holes, etc. And what this will allow me to do now is uh, I can use that sheet to drive some outputs. So one thing I could do is I could say I want to generate G code for all sizes. And now what this is going to do is it's going to cycle through all of the sizes in that spreadsheet. So you can see here I've got, uh, just close that, I've got two sizes. I could maybe make another one.
and give some different values. Maybe this will just become eight, etc. And we could give different uh, heights, whatever it is. So now I've got three different sizes for this. And if I say I want to generate G code for all sizes, what this is going to let me do is pick a post. So I'll pick this one. Uh, you just have to type it in right now. I haven't implemented a drop down there yet. Uh, just type in the name of the post processor you want to use and where do you want it to go. By default, it's going to go into a Fusion Sheet or Output folder in your user directory plus the name of the model. And do you want to output setups or folders or directly output operations? And so depending on which ones of these you pick, in this case, I'm just going to say let's export just um, maybe a folder or just a setup. Let's just export setup one for each size. And then when I hit OK, you'll see what happens is, is it's actually going to recompute the model at the three different sizes. So you're seeing it kind of jump to the different size, recompute the toolpath, export the G code, go to the next model size, recompute the toolpaths, export the G code, and et cetera for the three different sizes. And again, you kind of just sort of sit back and watch it happen. But when it's done, you will see that if we go into the folder that I just described, so it's fusion, sheet or output, and then this, this actuator case top, you'll see that now there is uh, the name, the number underscore the name, uh, and then setup one, setup one, setup one. So it basically just exported those three uh, NC files based on the three different sizes. There's also the option in here to create a Fusion 360 design. So in the case that you want to be able to say insert, you, you want to create this one master file, but then have all of the sizes available for putting into assemblies or whatever, you can say create Fusion 360 design for all sizes, and that will create a Fusion model for each size in your directory. Uh, at that point, it will no longer be associated um, to, uh, to each other, but they will also be associated to the sheet. So you can still change the sizes in that way. Um, but if you make like any drastic modeling changes, it won't be reflected in the other ones. Uh, and then the final option is to say, I want to export a local file for all sizes. So in the case where you wanted to say, uh, export a whole bunch of step files or something like that for every size, you can do that here as well. Uh, so again, if I click this option, it'll say, what do you want to export? You can say step, F3Ds, SAT files, and do you want, and it'll basically dump them out. Let's just do just step. And you can kind of see that process goes pretty quickly. Um, just again, like recomputing the model to the different sizes and then exporting those step files. And you'll start to see them show up here in this directory so you can see the uh, size, the step file, etc. as they start to come out. So that's pretty much it for Fusion Sheeter. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to leave comments below if anything you uh, like, don't like, if you have any questions on getting it set up, or if there's anything else you'd like to see it do. Thank you so much, and uh, stay, stay tuned for more updates.